Uh, my name is Elizabeth Armstrong, Interim President of San Diego Mesa College, and I'm very pleased to see so many people here today for the dedication of the Mesa College Design Center. Mesa College's uh, campus has extended significantly. We now have a major presence on the east side of the campus. Old classrooms that have become dedicated state-of-the-art classrooms will be very impressed by the the wonderful teaching facility it's become. And we're still keeping that sustainability going. You know, really taking sustainability with this district to a whole nother level. And uh, that we're really at the forefront as far as community colleges are concerned across the nation. Since 1989, the, uh, the college and the district had been trying to uh, obtain this property uh, to use as either a parking lot or a parking structure or something having to do uh, with expanding student access. Well, here we are in 2011, and guess what? There is a parking structure. There is also something new to celebrate, and it's this magnificent design center. One of the hallmarks of Mesa College is its very professional approach to uh, uh, vocational, occupational, career technical education. And so this is a celebration of that as well. This is an absolutely wonderful example of adaptive reuse and I can't think of a better program to go in here in that type of a purpose and really allow the students to see what you can do from an ultimate sustainability perspective, which is to reuse what you have. I can't tell you that whenever you do a remodel like this, you end up with countless surprises once you start getting into the walls and everything else. And so uh, the team did a commendable job of dealing with a lot of challenges that way. You know, the, the, the marriage of practicality and vision that uh, inspired and brought this project to fruition and was critical. The transformation of the Muir campus, envisioned by our faculty, endorsed by our administration, was the most appropriate response uh, to the current economic and political environment. But fortunately, <laughs> uh, our architecture and environmental design faculty, uh, trained to think first about function before form, were visionaries. When they looked at Muir, they saw things which, in fact, most of us did not about the students is it gives them a real world experience again that they they when they are here working on the uh, using the technology and the software it is what is used in the profession so that's important I can sum it up best when a, about the students when a student right after we moved in in October said to me told me that the new studio spaces which are the you know sort of the heart of everything um, it when he was working there, he said it really wanted to make him stay and work in classes and go home and work on his drafting board at home. He really wanted to be here and experience the space. And we've had that comment quite a bit. And a lot of the students have said, I feel like I'm in a real design school. As an interior design student, I remember my first day back in the classroom in 2008 and all the exciting possibilities swirling through my head. Yet through all the passion in my instructor's words, I couldn't help but feel slightly uninspired by my surroundings. This skillfully converted complex is now a state-of-the-art facility with warm lighting and inviting workspaces. It serves as a lesson itself from the furniture, fixtures, and equipment specifications that <laughs> blend so flawlessly together to the original architectural elements such as the clear story windows and sloped ceilings that mitigate the warm southern light. We work efficiently at our generously sized drafting tables and computer stations. We have access to a well-stocked resource room, modern reaper graphics, and a plasma screen TV to view our instructions, visuals, and PowerPoints. We have spaces in which we can work collaboratively on group projects and also gather for our club meetings. We are incredibly grateful for the funds allocated to make this a conducive learning environment for the 700 students in the Department of Architectural and Environmental Design.